We often hear about the keto diet helping you lose weight and treating diseases like diabetes and epilepsy. But a new Stanford study on metabolic psychiatry shows how it can also treat mental illnesses. I try not to overhype it, but yeah, I, I think it is life-changing for patients. What we are eating does affect the brain. It affects brain health, it affects cognition. Mechanistically, we're trying to better understand why, but this pilot basically tells us that it's an encouraging intervention that's helping patients, whether it's psychiatric outcomes, mental health symptoms, or whether it's metabolic outcomes. A ketogenic diet is a low carbohydrate, moderate protein, and high fat diet. You do stay away from bread, sweets, pasta, cereals. What did you find with the patients, their participants? How much did their lives change? We found for mental health symptoms, quality of life improved, sleep improved, energy improved. They were telling us that there were some improvements even in uh, hallucinations or delusions, paranoia symptoms, more mental clarity. And this is because of a change in diet, what they ate. It was because of a change in diet, but also in production of ketones. A ketone is basically when you break down fat, you will get ketones circulating in your blood and your brain burns that for energy. When the brain is burning ketones for energy, we're seeing certain levels are meaningful for mental health symptoms. What mental illnesses does this diet help alleviate? The pilot is encouraging in showing us that there are improvements in schizophrenia and bipolar. We are looking to study this in the eating disorder population as well, with binge eating and bulimia in particular. It can save people's lives. That makes me feel that I'm doing something that's meaningful for patients, and that's really what drives me forward to keep doing this research. When I see patients improving, and when they have that hope, and they feel encouraged by something that they're in control of, it makes me feel very rewarded.